One killed and 14 injured after a tragic explosion The GCPD is opening an investigation into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wynn Enterprises Chief Technology Officer Lucius Fox died last Tuesday in the violent blast. A small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. You don't have to worry, Lucius. Tiffany, I'm gonna take care of your family as if they were my own. Just like Lucius took care of you. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. It was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing, but this, this, is personal. We can't let him get away with it. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations and tore a family apart in the process. Don't worry, Al. I will find him and bring him to justice. He will spend the rest of his life behind bars. I'm glad to see your sense of duty still reigns supreme. Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be to lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes, she can use all the support she can get. Hey, <laughs> Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. <sighs> Tiffany, I... I know what you're going through. I remember what it was like when I lost my parents. <sighs> that, uh... Sudden emptiness. There's no feeling like it in the world. I don't think it'll ever go away. It certainly didn't for me. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. Just thought there'd be more time. There were so many things I wanted to talk to him about. So much wisdom in that goofy head of his. I asked a lot of him. Maybe too much. And he gave it all, didn't he? A real company man. Well, I hope it was worth it. <sighs> Tiffany. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. <laughs> hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm just... Trying to wrap my head around it all. I saw his remains, Bruce. There, there was hardly anything left. What were you guys working on that could have caused that? It, it doesn't quite add up. Please tell me. For my own sanity. Tiffany, I will tell you soon. Just not here. What do you mean? Why not? It's not the right time. What, Bruce? What are you mixed up in? 
fine. Just tell me one thing. That weird disc. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I need to know. I thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I hope you can forgive yourself. Whatever you got my father into, I will find out. And I will shout it to the world. be grateful you you knew my father well no but judging by all the lovely people here he must have been quite a man either that or he left a lot of money excuse me <laughs> <clears throat> just saying you know, he seems popular john can i talk to you in a sec bruce i was hoping i'd bump into you Why don't we catch up over here? Yeah, I'd love that. We have so much to catch up on. Enjoy the rest of your day. Look, I know it's a close casket, but uh, I can see by the jeans. Uh, your friend was a looker, huh? Why are you here, John? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. I got you a little something, just, just to mark the occasion. I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. Um, thank you, John, that's very considerate of you. Oh, good. I wasn't sure. First time at a funeral, you see. People get upset at the littlest things. It hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which ones not to cross. It's the best place for you. I'm sure they take you back. Oh no, Bruce. <laughs> Didn't you know? I'm cured. Dr. Leland said so herself. Cross my heart. <laughs> the meds and everything. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend. A father. A husband. A leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that, uh, favor you owe me. You know, you, you might have been a little reluctant at the time, but if it wasn't for me, you'd still be in Arkham. Sleeping off your meds in the rec room with Zaz. You're, you're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. I never made that promise. I got into a lot of trouble for what we did, Bruce. You saw that place, saw those doctors. Matthew tells us, Blessed are those who mourn. You see, 
I met some inspiring people out here. Made some new friends. Made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you. Of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. I, you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please, I've, I've got a lot writing on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. I'd be happy to chat with your friends, John. Just say when and where. Oh, I was so hoping you'd say that. We are going to have so much fun. I knew this would work out. This air between us, this is real. You can't force this kind of friendship. I want to commemorate the moment. The guys will be so excited. Now, what filter should I use? Thank you, Bruce. Ooh, that's a good one. I just know you're gonna hit it off with the guys. I should warn you, though. I've got an enemy. Real piece of work. Calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I want to rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief and a killer. And worst of all, he's... He's rude. I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. I shouldn't be surprised. Not your usual crowd, though. Or so I thought. Uh, just from the news, the guy's clearly a murderer, sick in the head. Don't know the half of it. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. Shit, his hole? You know where he is. No, no, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. I've been struck by how he was many things to many different people. I already said I'd meet your friends, John. Now tell me what you know. Jeez. <laughs> well, it's that much to you. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. It'd be just like the old days. I would appreciate that, John. That's what friends are for, Bruce. Just meet mine later, like I ask. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm, I'm just gonna slip away. Excuse me. Sorry. It's, uh... It's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this. This trust between us. Me too, John. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. I don't think that camera flash went unnoticed. Well, whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail.